Right, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today we are in the South Island of New Zealand. Long story short, we got our van stuck here in the South Island because our ferry got canceled going back north. And so we flew from Christchurch to Auckland, from Auckland to Japan, spent the month in Japan, and came back to Auckland, and now flew back down to Christchurch to the South Island. And we just spent the last few days trying to get our van fixed because it had some issues. Finally, it's fixed, and now we are out here in a place called Twizel. These canals hold some of the largest trout in the world. So that's what we're gonna try to catch today. Let's see if we can make it happen. Join me, and it's gonna be a fun one. Well, I hear some fish splashing. And I did attempt to fish this place when I was here a couple months ago. I didn't make a video because I didn't catch anything. So hopefully this time we can catch one and I'm going to be using this presentation here, the bobber. And under the bobber I got a long leader with a couple split shots and I have a soft bead or an imitation salmon egg. Right on a tiny hook, like a size 8 or something like that. I'm just going to get my gloves on because it's freezing cold. Here in New Zealand, people do not use this setup. They use the drift setup, which is the just the, just the weight and they drift the bottom with the uh, with the eggs. There's a couple advantages I'm thinking with the bobber. I've got to figure out the depth first. Oops. Flowing pretty good. Anyways, yeah, that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna set the depth a little deeper. All right, right now we're about seven feet and this canal gets much deeper, I've heard. And the bobber is just so much more fun because you just watch that thing all day, wait for it to sink down. Once it sinks, you know you're on. I think I'm gonna go a bit deeper. Oh man, I actually just had a bobber down. I don't know, it could have been the bottom, but that looked like a fish. Shoot. Right there. It was right there, but right in front of me. Right there. Yeah, I guess that's the bottom. All right, keep trying. Okay, no luck yet. I moved down a little bit. We'll give this spot a try. I would really love to catch one of these monster trout. That would be a lot of fun to make the New Zealand trip. That's Oh, there we go. Oh shoot. You know what? That's the wrong way. My flow is going towards the left. I'm going to cast upstream and then let it flow down. And I can kind of walk with it like this and watch the bobber at the same time. Oh! Bobber went down. I think with the advantage with the bobber too, I can just let it go. Just open the spool, just let it flow down on its own. It's kind of doing a little bob. Oh, it's down. Nope. We're starting to get a little bit of rain here, but it's all good as long as it's not too windy. Should be able to fish. Let's try this spot. All right, nothing on the first drift. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, God. Hurt my hand. Pull my skin off. Uh, I just got snagged on the bottom and broke off. Just a hook. But I should probably take care of this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think we have some first aid uh, stuff. Um, Look, I have. Cleansing wipe? Yeah. Okay. 
Can you see how big is the band aid? Mm, they have these ones. Oh, yeah, that one will work. Squeeze some juice on there. Peeled off my skin. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully, that stays on there. All right, last spot of the day. Let's give it a shot. It's been tough, it's not easy. I don't even know if I've had a single bite to be honest and yeah, I haven't really seen anybody else catch either so it's been tough for sure it's a good drift perfect speed nice walking speed I think I'm gonna walk with it all right guys day two nothing yesterday so another new location we're going to start out with this little swim bait okay first cast of the day I need to catch one today Ooh, there's a fish right there right behind me a nice rainbow right there wow they are straight up taunting me <laughs> well, very quiet morning to start off with um, haven't seen anybody else catch either it's the weekend so there's quite a few people fishing out here and like dang just had like two or three nibbles I know that wasn't the bottom either because I was on my retrieve Two days, zero fish. It is now the morning of day three, just after sunrise. I gotta get out there and hopefully we can get us a fish. It's been a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. Man, it's been tough. Anyways, always on the grind. Let's get out there. Ooh, beautiful morning. Best weather we've had so far. Finally seeing some clear skies. Mountain peaks with snow. It's gorgeous out here. Cold though. <coughs> All right, new approach. We're still gonna use this imitation egg, but no bobber today. This is more of the local method so you gotta wait just drift it on the bottom similar kind of deal though we're just drifting that egg first cast of the morning so with this method we're gonna have to walk on the bank just alongside it just side by side making sure we're on the bottom by keeping a tight line so you can feel any bites all right, and I can feel the bottom. Just gonna wait for my bite. Walk 10 miles if I have to today. There's some rocks there. Okay, nothing on the first drift. Just gonna walk back and start over. Oh, look at that. Here comes the sun. No bites yet. I think I'm going to switch up the color of my soft bead. You know, it's actually a little bit murky here. So I'm going to go with the same kind of color, but a bigger one. Let's give that one a try. Oh god, fish on, fish on, fish on, yes, fish on, finally, it's not big, it's not a big one, but got a fish, small, small, oh jeez, oh jeez, 
Come on, little guy. There we go. We got our first. <laughs> first fish in the canals. Oh, finally. Finally got one fish. This is definitely no world record, though. <laughs> I think that might be a salmon. Let me look at his mouth. Oh, his mouth is white. Look at his trunk. That red band right in the middle. It looks like a rainbow. I don't think it's a salmon. Just like a chunky little trout. I'm gonna release this one. It's a bit small. I don't know if he's a football. There you go. Alright, that one. That's a fish. Nothing to write home about though. Let's give it another cast. Come on, I need a big one. Oh, nothing else. I think I'm gonna have to change spots or try a different method. Oh man, this would be such a perfect background. I'm gonna have walked so far. out here three days one little fish oh but I know how big these fish can get and I know the potential here so I really don't want to give up I'm all the way over here in New Zealand might as well keep trying one of my one of, one of the one of the dreams to catch one of these big trout. Something I came all the way to New Zealand for. So, you know what? I'm not gonna give up that easily. It's midday now, so the bite's you know, completely off probably. And I'm gonna go get some lunch with Jocelyn and um, try later tonight. And maybe even again tomorrow morning. All right, guys, another new spot. Let's give it a shot. All right, nothing on the first drift. Still fishing after sunset. Nothing to show for it. Day four, it's too dark to see. Sun's about to come up, let's get out there. First cast of the day. Right in the center of the canal. Well, nothing yet this morning either. And I talked to one of the local fishing guides here and he says that uh, it's been tough fishing the past few days. So it's not just me. It's just been tough all around. Um, I just put on a spoon and I'm gonna just give it a shot a go for, uh, for some salmon. So these salmon will be some escaped salmon. Yeah, these salmon escape here and there and people catch them all the time, really. All right, let's try right here. Oh, got one. I'm on. Finally. Yes, baby. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, no. Whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm on still. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. He's wild. It's a wild one. Woo. Ran a nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. Yeah, baby. 
Oh yeah. Ah, oh, damn it, he's right there. Oh, I broke off. No. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is devastating. Oh my gosh. That was devastating. Six pound test. Oh. <laughs> Jumped up in there and everything. Dang, that was a nice fish. That was a nice freaking fish. He left me with this crazy tangle. I saw that run coming. I should have loosened my drag a little bit. Oh man, that one hurt. That one really hurt. After four days. It's in the middle of the day too. Nobody else fishing because, you know, usually middle of the day, the bite's not too good. But man, that was the best fish I've had. Really, the real, the only real fish I've hooked. And man, oh, I hope you guys saw that on the chest cam that it jumped up and it was a good size rainbow. Oh, I can't believe it. All right, I'm gonna keep trying. And that fish hit and then it ran upstream and I had some slack on the line. So I tightened the drag to reel it all in. And then once I got it all, all the slack back in, I didn't loosen the drag back up. So when he took the run, it just snapped. Oh man, that was a mistake on my part. I really hope that wasn't my only chance. Please, hook one more and I won't make that same mistake again. Got one. It's not as big, I don't think. All right, I'm not gonna tighten the drag this time. Ooh, stay down. I got one, Josh. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Decent one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Okay. It's a good one. Okay. No, oh, came out. Oh no, it's gone. Oh my gosh, get a shit out of here. It is just running down. Gonna have to tighten a little bit. I'm gonna have to chase him. I'm gonna have to chase him. No, 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 no. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. I can't let him go too far down. Because it ends, this pathway ends. Jocelyn was standing next to me for, for good luck. And it worked. He's staying down, just like staying down on the bottom, won't come up. Okay, he's not running too crazy anymore. Thank goodness. That was scary. Oh, oh come on, please. Oh, please don't, please don't, please don't. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please don't run over there. Please stop going down. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no. I'm gaining on him. Little by little. Six pound test. And it's a big fish. Can't make any mistakes. Deep breath. Okay, don't rush it. Waited four days for this. Do not rush it. Oh, please. Please come in. He's not that far. He's just down. He's just deep right now. In six minutes already. Must be big because I'm getting tired. I'm getting worked right now. Could be a 20 pound fish. Could be what we've been searching four days for. Big head shakes. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I don't like when he does that. This is not good. He's taking me all the way down. The fact that I haven't even seen him in seven minutes of fighting this fish is crazy. Of course, I'm going really light drag, but I don't want to. a repeat of what happened just 40 minutes ago. I think it's a giant trout is what I think it is. I'm chasing down. And six pound test is a is a norm here. 
that's what people normally use to catch these giant trout. I don't know how they do it. It's such a finesse game. It takes a lot of patience. Oh, I see it. I see it. It's on the surface now. I'm just going to get past him if I could bring him in. Because I can't pull him up. I can't pull him upstream. Oh, it's a good trout. It's a good rainbow. Hold on, hold on. Let me bring him away. It's a male rainbow. Got him! Oh! I got him! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh! Leave him on the water for now. Oh! I did it! Holy crap! I freaking did it! Yes! 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 I did it! Can you believe that? Look at this fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Woo! I can yell and scream because nobody else is out here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did it. Wait till I show you this fish. There it is. There it freaking is. Can you believe that, guys? Oh, holy moly. <laughs> this is a huge fish that's the biggest rainbow trout i've ever caught oh my god i did it i don't want to keep them out too long i don't think i'm going to keep this one we're going to let this one go because it's just huge it's massive so we'll keep them in the water and look at the hook on this guy right in the corner of the mouth right there perfect perfectly placed comes out just like that just an absolute unit of a trout <laughs> yeah this place has some big big rainbows and they get even bigger than this this is probably a good size one just the belly on them is massive Just gonna let him revive. Hopefully he can revive after that long fight. If not, then it'll be good dinner. It's just too big for us to keep right now. Also, I wanna release the bigger ones just so this, this place keeps having big, big fish. He's moving pretty good. Ready. Here he goes. Oh. Yes! Yes! Oh, I did it. oh my god! Oh, four days. <laughs> four days. And four it was like ten minutes. finally well worth it. Oh, I'm so dehydrated right now. <laughs> oh, I need some water. Oh. I'm soaking wet and I don't give a damn. I'm so happy. <laughs> we did it, guys! Finally! Oh. All right. You come out of the van, you <laughs> walk with me, go and land one right away. Thank you for coming. Good luck. My good luck charm. My bestest good luck charm. Well, we still have a little bit of sunlight, so I'm gonna just fish a little longer, see if I get another bite. They seem to be biting right now, right now more than ever in the past few days, so. And if we get an eater size, a little smaller one, then we could keep that one. Man, definitely worked for this fish. Oh, that took a lot of work. I really thought I was gonna just scrap this video, honestly. I was gonna be like four or five days wasted just trying to catch a fish and oh, but stuck with it i extended my trip here i was just gonna do like two or three days and just um that was gonna be it but uh, i did the fourth day and i was planning to do even tomorrow too um if i didn't get one today but man i stuck with it i'm so glad i stuck with it oh, got the fish got the fish i needed that was like a 
fish of a lifetime, man, I swear. These fish get so big, these rainbows. I don't know anywhere else in the world where you can catch rainbow that size. That was incredible. Incredible, incredible New Zealand. New Zealand, you've done it again. Although I would like to say I did it all alone, all by myself, I have to give a shout out to my friend James from the Angler's Logbook because I was messaging him basically every day, you know, what I was doing and he was giving me suggestions on what I could use and try this, try that, these colors and all this kind of stuff. Uh, even though he couldn't be here, he helped me out a lot. Oh, so big shout out to him. You can go check him out on Angler's Logbook. Oh man, I can't believe I did it. And still nobody else out here. <laughs> oh, oh, feels good, don't it? Well guys, so it's the next day. I tried some fishing this morning again, uh, but no luck today. So I'm really glad that I got my fish yesterday. Man, coming to New Zealand, buying a van and fishing around the country has been a dream of mine for a very long time. So. I'm currently living that dream and I've accomplished catching a big trout in the canals. That literally is a dream come true. So, man, just live in the dream, literally. Just live in the dream. One of the main proteins in New Zealand that's available locally is lamb and it's delicious. So let's go find a nice view and cook us a nice lamb lunch. Okay guys, well here we are. We just arrived at Lake Pukaki, which is just right next to Twizel and all the canals. Uh, this lake feeds into all the canals, I believe. And this is such a blue lake. I've never seen a lake more blue. It looks almost radioactive or something. But anyways, we're gonna make some lunch. We'll do a mushroom risotto with uh, some lamb, lamb chops. Out of the knife bag, I'll take this too, microplane. I'm just gonna use this one here. And these knife bags are on sale, available on my website, OutdoorChefLife.com. All kinds of knives in here, really long knives, high quality. I've been using this one for like four years already. It's still so good. And we have a smaller version as well. You just need a few knives. As well as aprons. Well, all handmade too. Feel it there. And you still have this attached at the back right there I go this way the attached end towards me and I cut down like this but the heel the back of my knife doesn't cut down all the way and I got my mushrooms for the risotto I'll slice them about a quarter inch, like this, right there. All right, before the lamb, let's start the risotto. Lamb's not gonna take too long. Half full of onions. Mushrooms. A little salt and pepper. Arborio rice. And I have some stock here, just gonna start adding this in. And I'm gonna keep adding in until the rice is fully cooked. We'll keep mixing and adding. Here we have our beautiful lamb, the main ingredient for today. It's not fish, <laughs> it's lamb. Just gonna season it with salt and pepper, quite generously. Lamb here, it's so tasty. You don't really need to add too much to it. I want to do a little bit of paprika though. A little spice. Make sure my rice doesn't burn. Get a little more broth in there. 
I'm gonna coat this with a little olive oil. Get a little sear going on there, and I'm gonna close the lid. It'll act like an oven. At the same time, I'm gonna throw these uh, zucchini in. Let's season this the zucchini. Just gonna grab these zucchinis out of here. Let's add some Parmesan to our risotto. Mix it in. And I'll give it a little taste. And base the seasoning off of that. Just a touch of salt. Not much, just a touch. And a little black pepper as well. This is some local garlic herb butter. A couple of nubs. That, that is pretty much done. I just took the lamb out to this, add onions. Deglaze the pan, just getting all those flavors from the lamb. A little squeeze of lemon in there. First piece is really tiny, so I'll just go take two two bones. Nice. There you go. Super tender. Sauce on top. Oh, here it is. The lamb chop and mushroom risotto. Mmm. Let's eat. I'm gonna have a beer. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. is good. I got some. Aotearoa IPA, oh, nice. New Zealand IPA. Mm. All right, let's taste first the risotto. Mm. Mm. Perfectly al dente. It's going in with the lamb chop. Mm. Mm. Oh, he's got the big piece. Mm. Mm. Okay. That looks like the perfect piece. Mm. Oh. Mm. Juicy. Tender. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a thick piece. You just bit through it like butter. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's very juicy. <laughs> almost accidentally pulled it off the bone. My favorite thing about lamb chops, it comes with a little holder. Hmm? Like, <laughs> like you're eating a little skewer. Mm. Mm. The sauce is really good, too. Mm -hmm. With the onions. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna be eating a lot more lamb chops while we're here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, I did it in a tough, in a tough th few days of fishing. Four days. Got it done. The tip has a lot of flavor. <laughs> <laughs> tip always has a it's lot like of flavor. It's like all the caramelized. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for watching another episode. This was epic. Mm -hmm. I mean, the struggle and the success and the meal after. Mm -hmm. Always great having you guys here and with us. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Now, let me do that last part over. One of the main proteins in New Zealand that's available locally is lamb. And it's delicious. So let's go find a nice view and cook us a nice lamb lunch.